Hey there, Tom here from FibonaciTraders.com here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to tackle one of the most common questions among beginner traders. How much money do you need to start trading? It's a question that pops up all the time and I want to give some practical advice on this topic. So like, subscribe, share with friends and stay tuned for the rest of the video. First and foremost, before we begin, it's very crucial to understand that the money you use for trading should be your money, not a loan, and it's a money that you can afford losing. The financial markets are highly risky. I cannot stress this enough. Trading is not a walk in the park or some leisure day on the beach. It requires hard work and carries significant risk to your capital. So whether you have $100 or $1 million, please Please ensure that you're financially capable of potentially losing that money. I've seen many traders borrow money or use funds meant for other essential expenses, putting themselves at severe disadvantage. Don't let it be you. Now that we have established this one, let's move to the question. How much money do you need for trading, day trade or swing trading? This amount varies depending on the market you're trading. If you're trading stocks, keep in mind that there is something called Patton Day Trader, PDT rule. This rule requires you to have a minimum of $25,000 US dollars in your brokerage account if you want to take more than three day trades within five day period. What is a day trade? Day trade is when you open and close a trade within the same day. If you open a trade on Monday morning and close it in the afternoon, that counts as one day trade. But according to the PDT rule, you can only take three day trades in a five day period. However, if you open a trade on Monday and close it on Tuesday, it doesn't count as a day trade. Now, if you're interested in trading options, one way to bypass the PDT rule is by using cash account instead of a margin account. With a cash account, your trade settles on the next business day. This means that if you took a trade on Monday and closed it on the same day, it counts as one day trade, but on Tuesday, that day trade becomes available again. This allows traders with cash accounts to ut utilize their funds without being restricted by the PDT rule. If you're trading crypto, forex, CFDs or other financial instruments, there are generally no restrictions based on cash value. However, for stocks and options, the PDT rule applies. When it comes to future tradings, there aren't many restrictions, so you should be good to go. Now, here is my only financial advice I can give you if you're starting out as a trader. It's very crucial to approach trading with caution and patience. Instead of rushing to invest a large sum of money right away, I truly recommend starting with a minimal amount of capital. This allows you to get a feel for the market and gain valuable experience without putting a significant amount of your funding at risk. By keeping a capital size minimal at the beginning, you create a buffer to protect yourself from potential losses while you're still learning. It's essential to focus on building a solid foundation of the market knowledge and understanding yourself as a trader during this initial phase. Take the time to educate yourself about the different trading strategies, risk management techniques, and market analysis. As you gain more experience and start to see some success with your initial capital, you can gradually consider adding more funds to your trading account. This approach allows you to grow your trading capital organically and avoid the temptation of over committing your financial resources too early. Remember, trading is a skill that takes time to develop. It's a marathon. By starting small and gradually increasing your capital as you become more proficient, you give yourself the best chance for long-term success. It's better to focus on consistency, discipline, and learning from your trading activities rather than fixating on the amount of money that you're trading with. Ultimately, 
The goal is to find a balance between risk and reward that aligns with your trading style and financial situation and your mental behavior, the psychology behind trading that fits you. So take it slow, be patient, prioritize learning and growth. With time and dedication, you will increase your chances of achieving success in the challenging world of day trading or swing trading. I hope you found today's video valuable and insightful. Remember, approach trading with the responsibility and always prioritize risk management. As traders, the only thing we have full control of is our risk management. How much money am I willing to lose on each and every trade, each and every day, each and every week, and each and every month? The only thing we have full control of is our risk management. So hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. will be much appreciated. Till the next video, do good things.